I'm pretty excited today because UPS just delivered my new reloading scale, but I'm more excited to let you guys know about the screaming deal Cambridge Environmental is offering with a rebate for this. Uh, the scale itself is way out of my price range, but with the rebate, I think you guys will be pretty amazed, pretty shocked by the actual price of the unit. So we'll talk more about the scale, the features, and the rebate a little bit later in the video. What I thought I would do just to make the video a little bit entertaining was talk about my evolution of scales from start to finish, hopefully. And uh, maybe I can answer some questions for some newer shooters. I could save you some time, money, and definitely a headache. So, like many of you guys, my father got me into reloading. He actually gave me an RCBS Charge Master. It was a kit, and it came with a, uh, a 510 scale. I'm sure many of you guys have seen this, the way it works. Basically, you're going to move over to your large number, and then it's got a tiny little wheel here in the rear, and you spin the wheel, and that gives you your tents. These work well, they're accurate, and what's nice about them is if the lights go out, you still have a way to reload some bullets. I really didn't like the wheel adjustment in the rear, so I ended up by going and buying myself my first scale, which was the uh, RCBS 502. Um, same operation, a little bit tighter teeth here, a little bit more adjustment, and what I like about it is, is it's simple, it's just got this little tab here, and you slide it to your tents, and that's how it works. If you're a hunter, maybe you shoot a few hundred rounds a year, or you go out on a Saturday morning and you want to reload 20, 30 rounds for your rifle, these work just fine. The problem is once you get into reloading, you're going to realize, or most people get into reloading to save money, but you're going to realize that you don't really save money, you just shoot more. One thing I knew, I wanted to keep my tolerances up on my reloads. I wanted to keep my powder charge weights consistent. So I ended up by going with a bench scale and I was doubling up the weights on the balance beam. So I would weigh the main weight, the main charge weight on a digital, and then just double check it on a balance beam. The way I had it set up, I bought some of these little lead dippers, dip it in the powder, into the pan, and then I had a trickler, and I would just trickle it in till I hit my proper charge weight, and then I would dump it. Uh, these work well. Maybe you're reloading 50 to 75 rounds. You can get away with it without spending all day and all night reloading. So these work well, they're accurate. Um, a bunch of different companies make these, Dillon, RCBS, um, obviously Hornaday. What I learned was I needed something that was going to speed up the process a little bit. It's still pretty slow. So I wanted to get into an auto powder charge, auto dispenser like the RCBS, but I didn't have a whole lot of money. So the RCBSs, when I was looking at them, were around 325 350 bucks. So I ended up by skimping out on the money and buying the, the Hornady lock and load, the, similar to the RCBS. I had it for a few months, I couldn't stand it. Uh, the way they got it set up is you have to adjust the trickle speed. And I, when I reloaded, I'd reload for a few different caliber rifles with a few different types of powder. So you basically adjust the trickle speed, maybe you're reloading with ball powder, like H335 for a 223, it's really tiny, uh, fine grains. And then you go to a stick powder like 4895, you have to adjust those the trickle speed there and it was kind of annoying. So. I ended up by selling it. I saved up some money and I bought my first Charge Master. Uh, this was definitely the uh, the scale that saved me the most time. I still use it till today. I ran one of these and you can reload maybe 125 rounds at a time with something like this, 150 rounds. It depends on how long you want to sit there and do it. So I ran a single one of these for a while and I ended up by buying another one and doubled them up. If you guys are looking to get one of these RCBS Charge Masters, I think Midway, they're like 325 But if you go on a Natchez Shooting Supplies, N-A-T-C-H-E-Z Shooting Supplies, they have these on sale every time I look. You can get them for maybe $259, $269. Every time I look, that's what they cost. So for that price, it's, it's like $75 more than a Hornady. You'll save yourself a whole lot of time and headache with the, with the Charge Masters. And if you start shooting a bunch of rounds, you can just double these up and uh, you'll keep your ammo still match quality, but you're going to cut your speeds uh, by quite a bit. What happened with me is I started shooting out farther and farther, um, and I noticed that my bullets, some would go high, some would go low, and uh, one thing about shooting is you need confidence in your gear, and you need to narrow, you need to minimize the error factor. So typically your rifle 
uh, yourself and your ammo. A good rifle and a good scope should minimize at least one of the three. Hopefully your fundamentals are good. I think mine are fairly good. I mean, I obviously could, could improve, but I think I, I dry, dry fire. I spend a lot of time at the range. I think I, I'm, I'm pretty well-rounded behind a rifle. So the only thing left that would cause this, in my thought, would be the ammo. You need confidence in your gear. That's the biggest thing. If you go out to the range and you don't have any confidence in your gear or your reloads, you're going to be all over the place. And I actually see myself slipping over the last few months. Um, and I actually I want to narrow, I want to minimize the thought process of my reloads being the problem. I've been looking over the last year to buy a lab scale. Like I said, these in the U.S. are around $750, $700, $750. And a couple buddies sent me a link with, um, I think it was off Sniper's Hide maybe. But the company, Cambridge Environmental, was offering a discount. You don't have to be a member. You just... Uh, you just have to buy before a certain time. So they set the deadline at March 31st. If you purchase one of these before March 31st, they're going to give you 30% off. So it gets better than that. Like I said, the USC scales are sold for about 700, 750 bucks, which is a lot of money. I would never pay that. But this Cambridge Environmental out of Ontario, Canada, is selling it for 500 bucks on their website. And it's not on sale. It's just the, the price that they have on it. Plus, they're giving you the 30% off discount. So, 500, 30% off. You're looking at 350 bucks for this beast of a scale. I haven't hooked this up yet, uh, but I watch videos on it. It's pretty cool. I was excited to get the information out to you guys about the, the rebate itself. Um, and, and March 31st is coming up. So, if any of you guys want to get it, I'd jump on it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a couple days.